everybody. My name is Daryl and um, I again have another exciting video from the Seattle Goodwill bins. I know you can't wait to get started. I also have video footage this time um, for some pieces that I got for my husband and they all worked out really well and so um, I'm looking forward to showing you some of that stuff. And anyway, uh, let's get going with my stuff. Now, this is the second time around that I videoed this because the first time I discovered that my uh, camera was on time lapse, which, you know, is like taking a picture without all of the pixels. So um, we get to start over, and that is why I have this on, <laughs> which is um, an awesome pair of leggings that I have to say I have no idea what the brand is. There's no... Um, brand indicator, no tags. Um, and I've got them uh, with the Sandro uh, slubbed linen tank. And I just love this kind of edgy, definitely edgy, <laughs> frayed, frayed hem here. And, uh, and I love the fit on these um, leggings. So, um, I'm going to do this too a little differently than I did the first time around. So let me show you this while I'm in athlete mode. <laughs> this is from Victoria's Secret. And it's their power stretch sports bra. It's uh, It has the most amount of coverage and the most amount of... Uh, um, ooh, what's the word? Anyway, keeps things where they need to be. And uh, I love the print and it actually fits me. So I'll wear this for my next workout. And I had it paired up with a pair of Lululemon. And these are the original dance pants and these are the cropped ones. Um, And you can, uh, they have, I believe, a drawstring hem. Yeah. So you can let this this uh, hem out if you want at the bottom. And here's our friend, the logo. And they're in this great purple color. And they're a super good fit for me. Um, don't know what, uh, never did find the size tag on them, but anyway. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Um, I'm going to show you this now with an athleta top. And uh, of course, everything is inside out now because I put it all on and took it all off once. <laughs> so <laughs> I'll try and be speedy about it all. I love this top and I would wear it over my my fitness stuff i would wear it with shorts i would wear it with uh just about anything um, it has this nice perforation detail here and um, i'm not certain of the price generally these run 69 to 89 dollars um, at athleta new Okay, now I need to show you this fantastic deal I got on cashmere sweaters. You know, the outlet um, or the stores don't want to try and sell cashmere during the summer. And so they just go straight to the dens. And uh, so somebody donated, um, I think it's seven Talbot's cashmere sweaters and they're brand new. Um, and so I'm going to show you all of these. I put this one on because it matches um, it matches the the no name leggings. So <laughs> I don't think I would wear this outfit anywhere. But um, I'm a little short on uh, on pant bottoms for this trip. Um, 
I got it in this beautiful aqua color. I have it in this gray. Royal blue. Purple. And I had this one on earlier, and it's a different style than the turtleneck. Um, these run $169 each. And uh, so I'm really, really happy that I got them. And they're a good fit, and they're going to just work really well for me. Um, I'd prefer they not be turtlenecks, but that's okay. I can't complain. I mean, they cost me maybe a dollar each. <laughs> <laughs> How's this for an awesome piece? Look at this. It's got cinches, side cinches at the waist, so you can tighten it as much as you want. And uh, check out this awesome color blocking. The dress is from Issy Miyake, and uh, that is the originator of the Pleats Please brand, which the forerunner for all of this stuff with this manufactured pleat. So the fabric is made um, in this configuration with the pleats in it already. And uh, the, the brand is quite pricey. And, but there's a little bit of confusion in my mind about this dress is that um, it comes there under the, um, the Issey Miyake line that is the men's line. And um, it, this really should come under the Pleats Please line. Um, so I don't know. I did check out the men's line and the, there was a season uh, where they did shorts and um, and pants in in this fabrication. So it's possible that this is a men's piece, but somehow I think it's far sexier on a woman. <laughs> I don't even know what the back looks like. Ooh, that was a little two-step there. <laughs> I could do. I used to really like Zumba. <laughs> so the shoes you may recognize from Sam Edelman, and uh, they were in my last video, $149. Um, I hadn't put them away yet. <laughs> so. Okay, here we're moving back into summertime, um, although it is not summer here in Seattle. It's raining and it's going to rain all week. <laughs> the nice thing about it is we don't have to worry about fires. And, you know, I'm in huge sympathy with with the places with the water shortages. So I feel very, very thankful, um, you know, for our greenery and uh, um and the weather just being what it is. Uh, so this is a top. This is from um, The Gap. And um, and I've paired it up with these um, awesome linen shorts. They're from Chico's. And I believe they're available on their website now. They uh, started out at $69. And they just have a nice, easy drawstring. And I like the, uh, the longer length. And... Uh, Gonna pair it up now um, with this piece from Nicole Miller, and it's a uh, one of her uh, oh, offshoot brands. It's a uh, original by Nicole Miller, and um, it's also linen. And. I decided when I had it on earlier that I just liked how I liked it just open and easy and it's just slouchy with the shorts. Let's move this down.
and you could wear this to open with the t-shirt. I think what they're calling this look right now is grandma chic. It's the big loose, easy, easy shorts and t-shirts. And, you know, I think you put a floppy hat on top of it. <laughs> so let me see how um, I have another linen shirt. In fact, I have two more. So let me show you these. This one is from Zara and it's almost like the one I just had on. It fits a little bit smaller. And this one I probably would go ahead and, and do a half tuck with it or what have you. Um, let's see. The other one I got is, um, is from The Gap. And um, I, that is the third one that I have that is like that. So I don't, I'm not going to put that on. Um, this is a little clunky right now because I've got the t-shirt on with it. But pretty cute. If you want to imagine it without the t-shirt, I think that it would be pretty uh, awesome thing to wear just about any place. You know, a little more dressed up than jeans. And a little cooler, too, if you're someplace where it's warm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll quit about the weather. <laughs> okay. A couple more pieces here, and they worked really well together. So um, uh, what this top piece is, is an awesome fringe sequin from a brand called Alex. And this is actually a larger size, and I just fell in love with the uh, um, with the jacket that I figured I could make it work. So, um, and I've paired it with this stretch jersey silk top, and this is from Eileen Fisher. We all need a bit of sparkle, don't we? Okay, everybody, this is the exciting new segment in Daryl Goes Shopping, because now she goes shopping for her husband, too. And he has uh, lovingly consented to um, be my model. And uh, so I wanted to show you some of the great things that I've gotten for him and some of their price points. Um, right now, he's wearing a pair of Allbirds shoes. Um, they run $109, and uh, these are the merino wool ones. Uh, his pants are from J. Crew, and they're a stretch chino with just a straight leg and nice classic fit. And uh, the shirt is from Tommy Bahama, and it's kind of a heathered blue and white, um, and they run between $99 and $109. So he looks pretty good, I think. Okay, been cleaning up on the cashmere uh, at the bins and uh, especially the men's cashmere for some reason. This piece is from 1901 and uh, it's in a kind of a cranberry red color and it's a classic men's cut with a shallow v-neck, cuffed hems and a cuffed, uh, cuffed uh, sleeves. So, uh, and again with the, uh, with the previous shirt and pants, and he's looking pretty tidy. This is an awesome sweater. This is 100% cashmere, and the brand is Key, Q-I. And um, it's pretty pricey brand, and I've got the comps for you in the uh, description online. This has got a, a half zip in the front. And uh, I like this one a lot. So hopefully I'll see more of it in the fall and winter. So here's the last um, few items that I got for my husband. And I think he looks awesome. Um, the t-shirt is from John Barbados and they run about $150. Uh, it, it must be superior cotton or something. I, I'm sure what it is, I think the brand is Star John Barbados. Uh, it's just a high-end designer label. 
The shorts are a faded red and they are from O'Neill. And I think that's a border brand, but I think they look great. And he's got them um, uh, paired up again with the Alberts. And um, another way this all looks just awesome is with the uh, the John Barbado shirt and the black J. Crew pants and the Alberts. It's just a great looking casual outfit for a guy of any age. Uh, you know, it's classic and pulled together. So thanks, and I've got more coming from my husband uh, in the next video coming up. So give him a big thank you. Okay, now we're back into winter here. And uh, this is a cashmere sweater from a brand called Duffy. And it's just gorgeous. It's kind of a um, got a two-tone thing going on. And then my vegan leather pants or my leggings are from a brand called Only. And uh, I'm not sure, you know, what things are going to look like in the fall as far as, um, you know, leggings and, and the faux leather stuff. But they keep coming back. So I've gone ahead and grabbed them. I think these are pretty awesome looking. And, uh, you know, they're a great fit. And they've got a lot of stretch to them. And... Uh, so there's some of the nicer ones that I've come across. Um, and the sweater is just gorgeous. One more piece from Free People. And this is a velour oversized fit. And uh, with some side slits and a, just an easy loose fit. And I like how long it is with the leggings. Um, so pretty cute. Alrighty, so I am not certain about this cold shoulder trend. Um, there are some pieces that I really like the looks of, and um, and this one seems just a tiny bit dated to me, but I don't know. I think just paired up with the right things, it might be kind of cute, maybe with uh, little black shorts. That one might be a cute way to, to wear it. Um, and here I'm getting tricky about all of this. Yeah. <laughs> this top, the cold shoulder top, is from um, Nicole Miller Atelier, and that is her high price brand, and it's 100% silk. And I'm sure it had a, a, a snazzy price tag on it as well. <laughs> so, underneath it is lurking a Calvin Klein black camisole which, oops, <laughs> I can never have enough of. Um, I, I can wear them with all things. And uh, including this black jacket that I got from Marmot. And uh, this is just in great shape. Um, it's the uh, hard shell jacket. So, oh, and it's just a great fit for me. Just super good. And the pants I have on, I was hoping would have worked a little bit better, but um, they don't. They're just giant. Um, they're really big. So you can see here. <laughs> um, so those will, these will get donated. Um, unfortunately, I could probably have gone down like two sizes in them. But that's all right. They didn't cost much. The jacket is $200 at least. And the next, oh boy, this is a hot outfit. And I mean like hot. So this is another awesome piece that I got. And uh, uh, it's from Rag and & Bone and it's 100% cashmere. And you can tell that it's just beautiful quality cashmere. And it's just this oversized cut. And I believe the retail on it was $329. Again, check the video description and uh, I've run all the comps um, there for you. But anyway, I love this piece. I think, oh. 
what can I say? I just love it. <laughs> I love the color. I love it with these jeans. And see, I'm not even going to give it a half tuck. <laughs> no, I love this shirt. This is from Zara. And it's a stretch knit of some sort. I don't know. But I love that. I love the way the fabric feels. It's got this tiny little rib thing going on here. And um, I love a neutral with black pants. I just love this combination. Just always looks elegant and pulled together to me. So, okay. I had high hopes for this jumpsuit from Romeo and Juliet Couture. And actually now that I'm seeing it again, I maybe like it a bit more than I did <laughs> before. Um, it's a, a jumpsuit. You can see with the, here you go. And uh, it has a lining that comes down to here and a bit of a blouson waist. See, here. And uh, actually I think it fits me better than I thought when I put it on the first time. <laughs> so <laughs> I paired it with the red shoes because they are convenient. And I'm going to try something here really quick. I haven't tried this on to see if it'll work. So, um, but I've run out of place options to wear this sweater, sweater here. So this is kind of a cocoon piece, cashmere. And um, I don't know if it's just going to look a little bit too, too blousey on the top, too matronly maybe dare I say that word um, it's all right um, I I would probably wear something else over the top of it Let's see. but it's doable it's okay so just getting into a countdown here let me show you a couple of pieces um, that either didn't work um, or um, yeah <laughs> so let's do this this is a, a fitness piece that it's a throwaway piece um, these were awesome and I had hoped so much that they would fit um, they just hit all of my boxes right now with a straight leg and uh, I like the color and they're a high rise and um, and they're made in Italy and the deal is they're a size 36 yeah which I think is a four and so they they didn't do me any favors um, and then I've come to find out that they're actually vintage pants the fabric is beautiful and they're just awesome so someone will get them and the big score of the whole day i can't believe that this was a throwback somebody decided they didn't want them and uh they obviously didn't know what they had in their hands because <laughs> I have been wanting a pair of these since they first came out. And uh, you know, they hardly ever get below $200. Once in a while you can find them for about 150. And uh, so these are the, the redone jeans that are made from old Levi's. And they are tailored to be a more modern fit. And uh, these are a size 27, which unfortunately are not my size in this particular brand. Um, so I will list these on eBay and uh, I'll put a good price on them. So if you're interested, let me know. These are the uh, Redone Originals. The, um, the color is, the wash name is Worn Blue. And they're 100% cotton. And they have a straight leg here. And they have been hemmed by somebody. So that's that for these. I've got one more clothing change for you. Oh, that feels a lot better. 
and uh, one more clothing change and uh, then we are done with this one. Okay, a couple new pieces here. This is um, an anthropology top from Delita, and it's in this uh, oh, kind of flirty oversized fit, and it's got smocking up here across the top. And uh, I think you could wear this for um, summer or winter um, because the, the uh, lace fabrication and the smocking on the sleeves and I think it just depends on what you wear it with. Um, right now I've got it with these Uniqlo jeans that are a high-rise fit and uh, love this wide leg here and uh, let me get you here so you can see my feet. Whoa, <laughs> might have to hold on to something. So um, these are from a brand called Wherever, and they have comfort soles, <laughs> which is kind of sad when you get to an age where you think that comfort sole sounds good <laughs> instead of shoes that kill your feet. <laughs> So I've fiddled with my camera so much now too, it's not in the right place for, to show you my shoes, but um, let me show you these ones as well. They're little fake Birkenstocks. <laughs> I can't wait to wear them. So here's the jeans. And this next top, I think, I think we'll work with it. Okay, I don't know. You know, I just kind of grab whatever and 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 pull it all together. So hopefully it works. Okay. Um, this last piece, uh, unfortunately, does not have a label on it, but I think it's just stunning, and it's a nice piece um, because I know that the um, the silk lining in the front here is silk wait that was redundant and uh so that leads me to believe that it's really a pretty quality piece so i like the blue on the blue and uh got kind of an um some looseness in through here and you see this gorgeous lace So that's it, my folks. Um, I uh, I think I got everything. Uh, since I had to redo this, things got a little bit mixed up, but it's all for the good. And uh, look forward to uh, hearing from you. And please do subscribe. I'm I'm actually getting my numbers up, so it's an exciting thing. And and let me hear from you. Okay. Thanks for watching.